Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I'm Red Kai Vectra and I would like to welcome you to The Runaway. Today I have the pleasure of viewing the Christian Dior Spring Summer 2025 Ready to Wear show. Oh, this is beautiful. Another dimly lit show. First model walks out with a bow and arrow set. Love her thigh high boots. Nice mini dress. Can't wait to see what we have in store. I have no idea. Long runway. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. So she's about to do some archery. I don't believe she may be a model, but this may not be a model. This might just be a professional. Doing her work, okay. She's getting ready. Now, do you see the flooring that she was walking on? It looked like she was walking on clouds. Had like a sky backdrop. Maybe this is Cupid's a Cupid's arrow type of theme. But they're taking this way more seriously than something like kind of cute like that. Because they brought in a full blown professional. She's about to be on the money, watch. Okay. So our second model or first model, however you look at it, again, has some really nice gladiators, knee high. Nice bodysuit, asymmetrical, just like the first one. I like the half sleeve. Nice swimsuit here. Or maybe the first one was a swimsuit. You know, I always wanted to shoot a bow and arrow and learn. You know, I always wanted to learn how to shoot a bow and arrow myself. Never got around to it. That's a big crossbow she has too. Getting some more asymmetrical looks, all black thus far. I think I see some of the wording it says consistent. Yeah, I like the knee high theme of the shoes. Everything's high and tight. Nothing bulky. Someone's got on some white flats.
There you go. On the pupil. That's a really nice setup though, the little cage that she's in. I like those operatic gloves. Or oh, really, they're probably sleeves on that look. Nice bathing suit. You didn't get too much of a glimpse of. There's the back of it. With matching boots. Boots to the pool. Boots to the beach. What do you guys think? Another look. Yeah, I like that first look and the first thigh high, at least sleeves, maybe boots. I thought they were boots, but I like that first look that our that our archer has on. That's the best thing since sliced bread. So now we're in a black and white section. And I expect us to go to like an all white thing. I don't think we're gonna to see too much color. Or it could turn out like that target where we end with, where we get some blue, some purple, and then we end with some yellow, like the pupil of the eye. Nice shields. Tell you what, everything is very wearable. Well, right when I say, right when I say, that sheer look look looked pretty uh, out of the ordinary. But for the most part. Everything looked very wearable thus far. Okay, those boots, because I, I see the same tag. It looks like they're maybe sneakers, like low top sneakers with these sleeves on them. And the strength and the cord, the cord. Oh, nice. The core strength and just the, the upper body strength to be able to hold that bow and that to really aim it. A lot of tension on that pull arm. I know that's tough. When I do my breads pick section, I'm gonna read up a little bit and see what this whole theme was about. With the bow and arrow, the eye, and with like the clouds on the ground. Oh, I like that. I have to admit that that was a sick intro. They had the two ladies open up the gates for. Her. That was pretty sick. That's the best thing since sliced bread. Interesting neckline on this dress. Three pronged. like that sweater
I know it's a lot of pressure as well on her because you know you're in an environment that you're not really used to I mean you're on a runway strip you know and you're the center of attention for one of the major brands in the fashion week so I know it's tough I know her shot's a little off but again kudos to her for stepping up and doing it literally stepping up to the target nice trench okay okay I like that color scheme white and khaki like the boots that followed it I saw it said something, made the building on those gates. I like the Trojan sandals. Shoes were the strongest part of this collection. For sure. Okay, that seems to be all. Let's so get one last look at everyone. A oh, strong mind and a strong, I presume, body. Courageous, calm. Okay, I see the words. Okay. Yeah, that the archer still has one of the best looks of the whole show.
It's a very monochromatic collection. Lots of all black. Yeah, I still, I still, this collection is one of the easier ones, I would say, uh, to, to wrap your head around and to uh, really predict, you know, this is, um, You know, I haven't checked out too much Dior, but from what I have seen, you know, it's just all right. And you've had some nice jackets in there. Saw a couple tre trench coats, sweaters were nice, especially the uh, striped ones, but nothing really impressive in terms of dresses or even the bags are just eh. the shoes were the nicest part you know I like the, the last model shoes calm courageous consistent And those shoes are cute, but you know, other than the uh, knee-high sneakers and the thigh-high boots here, there's not really much to take away. To be honest with you. I might just call it like this and not even really do a breads pick. Let me be honest. I mean, I called out what I liked as we saw. That's about it. There's a wonderful guest. Kudos to her, the archer. Again, with that's the bread's pick right there. My favorite look is the one that the archer had on. Black mini dress with the several slits going all around. Thigh high, what sleeves over the shoes. With Miss to say, Maria, man, I'm pretty disappointed. Um, Jury. It is what it is. Dior has had a lot of creative directors over the years. Um, I mean, Mr. Dior himself passed away, what, what, in 57, I think? Um, maybe 67? 57, I believe. And, um, you know, Yves Saint Laurent came in, and then you had, you know, several others. For the decades, in, in the 90s, 2000s, you had some good ones. Galliano, um, Hetty, you know, we'll see what's going on with them going forward. I know even in the perfume fragrance realm, which is really my world, um, you know, they're, they're, they're trying to find their way. Dior, again, was one of those, it's one of those iconic French houses that has a lot of uh, heritage um, in terms of perfume, fragrance. I mean, and even the dresses that you see over the years, the haute couture work that you've seen over the years. Um, you know, right now, we'll see. Uh, well, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Again, based off of this nice setup and just the mystique behind bringing out the archer first, she's isolated. 
the two ladies open up the gates for i was pretty hyped and excited to see but it was really just a rehash of you know like sporting goods kind of sporting good looks you know like kind of rehashes of the black and white theme here yeah it's something that nike could have done you know it to me it doesn't it's nothing different than any uh, like adidas could have done this this is not you know i don't know yeah i didn't even look into the concept it, it, if any of you guys know about the concept that this show was kind of based around with the archer and stuff please let me know in the comment section below but hey i, I got i have other shows to review so you know i don't know man i i don't know i i i expect you know you'd like to see something prettier um and even if you're not gonna go pretty i don't know i i would you know i get it, it, it this isn't the they didn't lay it out to have like the typical you know miss dior kind of dress and dresses and setup but you know you don't bring out an archer to do that to have prissy dresses but i don't know i uh i did like that look that was cute but you know having a few cute looks and some solid shoes man is is not that's not dior level in my opinion and from what i've seen you know historically so and you know what makes this so disappointing <sighs> dior's branding is phenomenal i love some of the women they have selected for to be their global ambassadors their, their brand ambassadors have been great picks classy elegant ladies with a timeless kind of allure to them miss jisoo from blackpink in korea uh miss yara shahidi she's a class act you even had miss natalie portman being the face of miss dior parfum like come on man and so it's just why have those ambassadors if this is and it's not this isn't the first time because i've seen some of their stuff before dior and i i just i chose not to even react to it because i kind of i kind of looked a little bit and said ah nah you know it's just but it's such a big house i i want to talk about it and i you know but why even have those why even pick even rihanna's um you know rihanna's got a different brand than the three i just named but even her for for jador uh that was a gorgeous she looked gorgeous in the commercial right um I don't know, but even Rihanna's got a bold, she's got a bold image and a bold kind of personality and, you know, bad girl Riri type of thing. So, but, the, you know, even that, if, if you're going to go badass, go badass. You know, it doesn't have to always be tea time, you know, like, but I don't know. I, I don't know. You tell me if I'm, I might be off. Again, it's just one man's perspective. You know, it just goes to show, you know, as I'm about to check out Mr. Daniel Roseberry's uh, latest Schiaparelli collection, it, it's, it's, you know, it goes to show, man, your know, brand reputation is one thing, but, you know, that, it, it matters who's in a driver's seat. I'll just say that. It, it matters who's in a driver's seat. You know, and I don't know. It, it matters that was kind of sexy the different tassels with the either bathing suit or body suit but i don't know let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this collection you just expect to see more elegance and class i don't know more grace more sophistication That's the best.
just you just expect more the garments to be more ornate or something i mean because this is it's a lot of basic athletic wear to me it, it's yeah and if you're gonna go monochromatic you gotta show out you gotta show out so I, I like Dior and I and I think that and I respect their house so I don't want to bang on them too hard um, but yeah that's all for me thank you very much for watching your viewership is much appreciated I hope to see you next time but until next time you have a great Damn.